Well, good day. Welcome back to Tractor School. Today we're going to have a look at the looping features on Tractor Pro. Basic looping first, and then we'll go into something a little bit more advanced. So here's your loop functions here. These ones here. They these numbers correspond to the beats. Press any of these buttons, and it will loop those amount of beats. So if I press four, it will automatically loop four beats. To turn it off, click it again, and it'll go right past it. All right, sounds simple enough. You can muck around with it. So that's just basically looping on the fly, okay? Piece of cake, yeah? Now you can also use these buttons over here and make any length loop you want. So if you press in, that's obviously where it's gonna start looping, yeah? Press in, and then press out. And that'll loop as long as you want it to loop. So you deactivate it over here, activates highlighted, click it, it'll go right past it. So that's basic looping. Very similar to every other program out there, yeah? Okay, let's go into something a little bit more advanced. Say um, you're at home, you're preparing a set for a gig tonight, and you know there's a certain part of the song that you want to loop. So, to make it easy for yourself, you can pre-program this loop. Like I've done here, this loop was pre-programmed earlier. So as soon as it gets to the green marker... It will loop on its own. As long as it's active. So that will stop looping when I hit active. So if it's not activated, it should go right past Melbourne, so you don't have to worry. Now, how did I do that? Okay, well, I'm here to show you. This is how you do it. Where do I want to go? Nah. Yeah. I want to go to Vegas. Okay, found where I want it to... Start looping, press the in. That's where I want it to start looping. Now, drop down box over here, gives you the advanced options. Now you have to store that. It's not permanent until you store it. So click store, and now it is stored. Now another drop down box here where it says Q. What sort of a Q marker is it? It's gonna be a loop Q marker. So now that's automatically set. I've had, a, I had the four beat highlighted there. So it's automatically set a four beat loop for me in there. And you can name that. Double click this section and just name it. Whatever you want. Vegas. We're going to name that one Vegas. Vegas. And this one Melbourne. Melbourne. is called Melbourne. Hey, Pretty easy, isn't it? Vegas, Melbourne. So every time it comes along and picks up one of these green markers, it's going to loop it automatically as long as it's activated. So we'll activate it now. And you're at your gig, you're talking away to somebody, and you know that it's going to loop Melbourne as soon as it gets to it. Deactivate. And if you want to loop Vegas, just press the activate again and it will activate activate Vegas. 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 Alright? So 
Use your imagination, you know. One week I'll be DJing in Melbourne, so I'll just want to loop Melbourne. And then I'll deactivate it, and it will go right past Vegas. Paris. Vegas. Okay, so there you go. A little bit of advanced looping in Tractor Pro. Now, any questions on Tractor? Just let me know. I'm here to help. But I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm no PC expert, so don't ask me any PC related questions. I know Tractor Pro back to front, so if it's about Tractor Pro, I'll probably be able to help you. Otherwise, PC questions, I'll just uh, maybe point you in the right direction. But that's all for now. Practice and enjoy.